University wasn't for me. That was a choice. You know, I was 17 when I was drafted to this football club and you know, I lived a pretty busy life playing football for 18 years, but doing a vet course was um, something that I was really eager to do because it was about upskilling myself. And when I arrived in Sydney, I signed up to do a diploma in Indigenous Studies because I didn't know what it meant to be an Indigenous person. I knew where I came from, but I didn't know how I came from that area. So for me to then make a choice I was empowered through education. That empowerment also then to learn about who I am as a person and my culture um, came from doing a vet course just here at TAFE at Eora in Redfern. And through that study, it's not only enriching my life, but the people around me, but it's also empowering me about being proud of who I am and the possibilities of learning. Adam was doing what he was doing and I sort of uh, was always talked about mental health and, and um, how that affects people. And it was a big item, it's a complicated beast. But I've seen a lot of our, especially aunties and uncles, who've gone through that where I'm from. It was very, very challenging to be able to do that. But I wanted to see why it was affecting our people and um, I learned some really big things there. My first day was, was quite fun actually, because um, Michael and myself, we both signed up at the same time, different courses, but we, we went together on our first day and you know, it was like being back at school for me and uh, what was great was it was a TAFE in Redfern, it was run by Indigenous people, there was other Indigenous students in the classroom and for me I just felt like it was home, it was a safe environment. Um, it was a very easy environment for me to learn in. I felt very comfortable to ask questions and I felt that the teachers were very helpful in you know, understanding what my learning techniques were and being able to help teach me in those ways. I grew up in a big Indigenous community so I knew who I am, where I'm from, our people, our culture. So I, I'm very fortunate. But there's a lot of kids, and, and Adam's probably an example of that, moved away from the country and was left to sort of fend for themselves a bit. But I think what Adam did was educate himself, ask questions and do the work like you would a football player. If you're going to play a game on the MCG or the SCG, I think when you're passionate about something, it's actually really easy to do. And whether that passion is to you know, be a doctor, to be a fiery, to, to be a tradesman, whatever that might be, if you have that passion, you're always gonna rock up you know, to those classes and wanting to learn, because this is the next step that you need to take for you to become who you want to be in that chosen path that you're on. So when the days were tough, I knew I just had to get myself there. And once I was there, I was completely immersed in that learning, in the work that I had to do, because I knew that was the next step I had to take. I was very fortunate, and a lot of people don't have that opportunity because a lot of things have happened, stolen generation. There's, who do you talk to about the, your culture? So, very difficult for a lot of people out there. But never be afraid to ask the questions. Our people have been around for thousands and thousands and thousands of years and we love talking about our culture, who we are and where we're from. And Adam did exactly that. I witnessed him do that and ask the questions, ask myself, ask others. So don't be afraid to show that courage, show that strength that our ancestors have had over a long journey and apply that to finding out more about your culture. A lot of people might think vet course is just about learning a trade, but it's not. The possibilities are endless and they can be short courses, they can be bridging courses into university. There's lots of different ways that you can use vet courses to progress your skills capacity to getting that dream job that you want to get. So for me, there's so many options and what we promote at Go, you know, there's no difference for our students. If you want to do a vet course or you want to do a, go to university, we're going to support you in your decision. It's not what we think is best for the kids, it's what they want to go on and that journey and that path that they take.